Stay tuned as I show you how to make a double-sided or reversal project using Chaka Tours Freedom Transfer as well as their Dropbox Surface. Hello everyone, hopefully you're doing pretty well today. My name is Deborah. welcome to my channel, Crafty Shocking Creations. I'm an independent designer of Chaka Tour and today's video, as I stated at the introduction, is going to be using their Dropbox frame that comes with these inserts. It comes in a package of three. They come like this. And they have that chalk suede feel to them. So do not use ink with this. And it's double sided. It's like a lightweight type kind of, um, I would say maybe a type of cardboard. I'm not exactly sure. But it is perfect. It drops right in here. You can have it horizontal. You can have it vertical, which is what I'm going to do today. I'm going to do this portion, decorate for uh, 4th of July or any time you want to be patriotic. Uh, I'm going to use this transfer. It is called Today Will Be Amazing Freedom. So this is the Today Will Be Amazing in the Freedom side. Now, um, <clears throat> I will have an editable shopping cart link posted down below if you'd like to get this drop box that comes with those, the three inserts that are double-sided. And you can buy also refills for these. I think a package of three is like $5. I think this entire set right here, the box frame with these, I believe is $20. Um, anyhow, this transfer is a size B transfer. It's an eight and a half by 11. I scored along this. If you want to cut it in half, you can do that. Now to save some time, I did pre-fuzz this. This is a fuzzing cloth. If you don't have one, don't worry about it. If you've got a towel, a sweatshirt, a t-shirt, something that's going to take some of that stickiness off because these are reusable. All right, I'm going to set my drop box from the side and I'm going to be using the two colors of paste. I'm going to be using candy apple red and I'm going to be using midnight. Now this is their color of the month for the month of June. Now you can get this if you purchase $75 or more. If you don't want to use the color, this color, you could also use cadet blue or possibly colonial blue depending on what colors you would like to use. Like I said, that shopping cart is editable so you can, um, you can choose whatever it is, what colors you would like to do. Now I'm going to do this the way it comes first, horizontal. Now, this drop box, there is some a uh, little bit of edge there. It's like a quarter of an inch on either side. Now, you are welcome to measure. You know me, I pretty much eyeball things, but if you want everything precise, you are welcome to measure. So I'm just going to kind of um, guesstimate here. Now what I'm going to do is, I've already, like I said, pre fuzz this. I showed you briefly. I got a little, a little something stuck there. So I need to get that off. <clears throat> and I'm just going to smooth this over with my hands. Make sure I don't have any little air pockets there. And I fuzz this, I want to say, probably six, seven times, somewhere around there. All right, that feels like it's down pretty good. Now I've got my extra little tray here. Plate, I should say it. I'm using a couple of squeegees because I don't feel like washing one. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do first, I think, you know what, I'm just going to go in with the red. This is the candy apple red. And then I'm just going to generously apply it to the stripes. Now this, like I said, you do not, you only want to use paste with this. You do not want to use ink to heat set it because that coating that co causes, <clears throat> excuse me, the paper to give it that like chalk suede feel, it will melt. I did an example, you know, a little test just to see on one of their chalk suede tags and it melts the surface. So paste can only be used for this. I think I'm going to do freedom in blue. I was, was debated if I wanted to do it in red, but I think I'm going to do it in blue. I think midnight blue is gorgeous. But yeah, once you hit $75 or more in your shopping cart, you will be given the option to purchase that midnight color. And that's while supplies last. And it's only for the color of the month. After that, it's gone and it's done. Um, if it is sold out at the time of uh, this video, I'll have to check. And I'll add a, a link because I do have an extra jar that I purchased to keep in my inventory. 
but I can't do that until it is sold out. All right, so I'm gonna peel this up really quick because I don't, oh, yeah, I'm, I am so messy when it comes to, to the red. All right, let me get a little moist wipe here. Wipe my finger off before I do, do anything else. All right, let's see if I can clean that off. that right off. Make sure that's dry. Yep. Okay. I'm going to stick that back down. The blue is going to go over that anyway. But I did want a big blob of red there. All right. So as I was, I'm just going to peel this up because I don't want this drying in that silk screen and pull, you know, and pulling up my pace, my design. All right. Now I'm going to go into the midnight blue. That is a gorgeous shade. It's showing a, a bit more blue blue but that's the cadet blue hopefully you can see the shade difference there it's a nice blue it kind of reminds me of um, a denim blue color dark denim blue but not quite indigo and then I'm just going to do the freedom and then I'm going to do all this in the blue so wherever, wherever that silk screen is at, that is where your color will go. And don't be afraid that your transfer is ruined because some of these paste colors do stain your transfers. There's nothing wrong with your transfer. Just wanted to let you know that. You just want to make sure you do not have any paste that has dried into your silk screen because that will prevent your paste from going through. All right. And there we go. Okay, I'm gonna let this dry for a bit. I'm gonna go and clean my transfer and then I will come back and show you the version to go horizontal. All right, thank you. Okay, now that I'm back, oh, hold on a second. I gotta get my light on. I gotta turn it back on. All right, now that I've got my transfer clean and dried and pre fuzz I'm going to set that aside. This is still wet, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my little drying tool. To make sure that this is dry before I flip it over. Let me get my paste caps put back on here. Yeah, at any point that you like this video, if you could, please go ahead and give it a like. And if you'd like to see any more of my videos, be sure to subscribe to my channel and click that notification bell so that way YouTube will notify you of whenever I post another video. At least I hope they am. And I also have an email list that you can subscribe to. If you'd like to do that, please do so. And all that will be uh, the list uh, to sign up for the email list that will be posted also down below in the description box. All right, let me check and see. Yeah, the, and then this dry is like a nice indigo blue. That is good and dry. Now there was a little bit of bleed through, but I remember I used a moist towel, so. But I'm gonna flip this over. Now I'm gonna do this horizontal. All right. Now I've already pre-fuzzed my transfer. And there's about a quarter inch, so I'm going to go a little bit higher. About right there. Like I said, you can measure. I think I may have fuzzed this a little too much. Now see what I mean? Where the paste will stain your transfer. There's nothing wrong with that. You just want to make sure that you don't have any dried in your silk screen. All right, and the only thing holding this down there is the stars and that, that border. So I'm going to do the blue field with the stars first. All right, I think that's done good. Right. I love this color, Midnight. It has a beautiful color. Okay. 
you just generously apply it like with all the other paste. And you scrape off the excess. I'm not going to use the word freedom, or at least I don't think I will. I don't think that will fit. Now, I did measure to see if the stripes would kind of work this way, and I think it will. All right. Now I'm going to peel that section up. Okay. Whoops. I'm going to use my backer sheet to lay this down on right now. Now you need to make sure that that is dry. It might take a couple minutes or so to make sure that it is dry. Use a hair dryer. If you're not in a hurry, just let it air dry. like a nice, it dries a nice deep midnight blue sky. <laughs> I guess that's why they called it midnight. Okay, I want to make sure that this is dry. That feels dry. All right. Now, I'm going to keep my backer sheet down here. Hopefully you can see that because I don't want any of the blue. And I'm going to kind of try to center this. Oops. Okay, and I'm just going to smooth this over with my finger. I guess if you want to do the freedom, I wasn't sure how that would look, if it would fit on there okay, but I... Uh, Oops, peeled up a little bit of the paste. Okay, don't want to lay this down on there. Don't want to smooth it over the, the paste already. I just pulled a little bit up. Don't do that. <laughs> All right. If you want to do the freedom, uh, I think that will fit on there nicely. You could do that, but I'm just going to do the red stripes, the red and white stripes. Okay. I think that's on there pretty good. We shall find out. All right, I'm gonna go back into my candy apple red. Okay, I wanna make sure that that backer sheet's under there. I'm just going through and generously applying it, the paste. This is the Candy Apple Red. And scrape off the excess. I might have a little bleed through on that one, on that upper stripe. That's okay though. I think I got part of the freedom on there. <laughs> if you're worried about your uh, possibly getting an area that you don't want, you can use some painter's tape, placement tape if you have it. Okay. All right. Let's scrape the excess back into my jar. I'm going to peel this up. And there we go. Okay, I'm going to lay that on the backer sheet there. And then I'm going to put this over here on my towel and I'm going to spray this down with water until I can get get it to the sink to clean it. So I don't want that paste drying in my silk screen. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and dry this and show you what it looks like in the frame. And then you can embellish your frame if you want to. You can you can paint your frame. That is, <clears throat> excuse me, totally up to you. So I'm just going to try to make sure that my paste is dry because I want to put it in the insert and show you what it looks like. Put the insert, I should say, in this box, drop, the drop box. That's what they call the drop box frame. It's 
size frame. It's nice and thick also. So I just want to make sure this is good and dry. Okay. Let me make sure. Yep. All right. And then with the top, you just drop it in there. That's why it's called. You slide it in. And, and that's the one side. So if you have your guests that way coming in, you can have it that way. Or if you want to do it horizontal, there's an idea also. I hope you enjoyed this video and it shows you the drop box and tells you a little bit about it and a project that you can do with it that is double sided. You can do horizontal that way. Or you could also do vertical using that wonderful transfer called Today is Amazing and Freedom. Thank you so much for watching and you enjoy your day.